This is an example from the Leaving Cert higher level course looking at modular equations. Okay, in example one, sketch the graph of f of x equal to the absolute value or modulus of 3x plus 5 and hence solve the equation of 3x plus 5 equals 2. Now to graph this we need three points. It's a v-shaped graph because it's a linear modular equation. The most interesting point is when f of x equals 0. So when would this modulus have a 0 value? It would be 0 when 3x would be equal to minus 5 and it would have this value if x had the value minus 5 over 3 because 3 times minus 5 over 3 plus 5 is equal to 0. Now minus 5 over 3 we want maybe two values either side of this so when x is equal to 1 for instance we have 3 times 1 plus 5 which is 8 and a value below minus 5 over 3 would be we could use x is equal to minus 3 and minus 3 by 3x is minus 9 plus 5 which is minus 4 because its absolute value this becomes plus 4. Uh, so we quickly sketch this graph the x values are going between minus 3 and 1 and we see in terms of the f of x we're, it's all above the x-axis I'm going to a maximum height of 8 now minus 5 over 3, that's the same thing as minus 1 and 2 thirds. So we have minus 1, 2 thirds, 0. We have the point 1, 8 and the point minus 3, 4. And we just take out a ruler and we join these dots. And it's always this V-shape when you have this linear and modular function. Now in the second part of the question, we're, we're going to use a geometric technique to find out when is this equal to 2? So if we just mark off where 2 is, come across and see where it hits our function, marked in green here, and we see it seems to be hitting at minus 1, and the other value seems to be maybe minus 2 and a third, minus 2.3. So we just write out our answer that when the modulus of 3x plus 5 equals 2, that's when x is equal to minus 2.3 or minus 1. Now that's a geometric technique. Now to be perfectly accurate, um, we would maybe do this algebraically as well. So the algebraic method is that we would square uh, both sides and this gets rid of the modulus symbol. So we want to square 3x plus 5 and square 2. Now when we square 3x plus 5, we should know this binomial by heart, we get 9x squared plus 30x plus 25, that equals 4. Take 4 from both sides, and divide both sides by 3, and just factorize this so we can solve it. You see it's all positive. So this gives us the answer that 3x plus 7 equals 0, or x is equal to minus 7 over 3, which again is minus 2 and a third, as we thought it was. And the other value is x equals minus 1. So it seems to match up with what we found out uh, in geometrically.